Like every new weapon added into the game, the Battle 27 brought with it eight brand new camos. And one of them is a simpler times camo, which I think might be one of the best in the game. So we'll be unlocking all of these as well as getting the weapon all the way to priceless. Let's hop in. So I'm a bit of a Van Gogh head, you know, a casual Van Gogh fan. And obviously the simpler times camo resembles the Starry Night painting and, uh, I actually like it a lot. If you guys have been following me for a while, you might have seen in my setup tour that I did have the Lego version of the Starry Night. And I've gotten some other like different kinds of artwork of it in the past. I, I just think it's a really cool painting and it being a camo in this game is sweet, especially since it's so easy to unlock. All we gotta do is get 50 kills while aiming down sights. So we should get it pretty fast here. And honestly, all the camos for this look pretty easy up to Gilded. I haven't checked on Forged or Priceless yet. But we basically just need like headshot kills, normal kills, uh, kills in tax stance, then 50 kills with all of our attachments. And then I guess we'll see what happens after that. But I've been really liking getting back into the multiplayer grind of this game, especially since zombies has been crashing so often that it's like almost not worth it hopping in to try to get stuff because you're just going to lose it regardless if you play well or not. But I think Sledgehammer has done such a good job with the multiplayer in this game. And I, I've just left it alone. And is that T-Money? My mortal enemy? A T is just kind of like a, a different kind of J, if you think about it. I can't let him best me. I need to take him down. He needs to not survive. I need to outperform him. Where is he? He's got four kills. I got six. We all know who's the better money. There we go. And we need to make up for our last video using the Storm Ender for so long. That in the RGL, I tanked my KD so bad. Not that I had a good one anyways, but I would like to at least keep it positive or like neutral. I want to stay above a, a 1.0 KD. And I also haven't forgotten about your guys' weapon suggestions. You guys asked me to do the Cat AMR. Well, you said the ZRG, but the Cat AMR is basically the same thing. So I haven't forgotten about it. I will do it. But I just wanted to get this camo while it's... uh. You know, new and relevant. And this new map grind hasn't been too bad so far. I like that it's all like, uh, you know, a bunch of graffiti. I think it looks real nice. It is a little bit slower for my liking, but maybe it'll help me uh, get a little bit better at, uh, you know, not dying since there's a little bit more space to space out these gunfights and let me like get away, regen my health and try again. Oof. Got him on that last bullet. Wait, Walter White's in here too? <gasps> I think Team Money might have left the game. We win. We should have had a clan match for the name. He has to remove the money from his name. Bro's just T now. 34 and 22. Not bad for our first game on, but I think grind might just be a little too slow for me right now. We need some smaller maps to get these camos done. Ooh, shipment. That's what I'm talking about. Even if they're throwing us in a game in progress, we should still be able to eat. That's a teammate. Never mind. I just gotta like not talk about how well I'm gonna do and I feel like I'll do better I just immediately curse myself come on we just need a few more ADS kills and we should have it how far off are we just five more we are getting slaughtered this game I really shouldn't have said anything when we first joined in I'm setting myself up for disaster oh and we can't even get it this game don't ever put me in a game in progress we don't need that i had 16 assists somehow is this gun just mid and multiplayer maybe we just need a little change of scenery we need to be out here in the sun and not in the gloomy shipment whatever the hell just give me my ads kills this game and i'll be happy it shouldn't be a problem we literally only need four more but now that i'm thinking about it the camel curse is stepping in and i'm seeing my problem with these small map playlists now everyone's just using shotguns they're, they're either using the Haymaker or they're using the new Mark II Carbine Model 1887. And I am not boating well against it. I just gotta sit in a spot and wait for somebody to peek me, I guess. Because moving around ain't helping. And this ain't doing enough damage to kill. There we go. Come on. Oh, there's sunset waves. Okay, so we gotta be like one kill away. Come on, there it is. That should be it. Beautiful, simpler times. What a nice looking camo, dude. I can't wait to throw that on. Now, what do we need? Headshots and tax stance kills. I feel like the headshots are going to take me a minute. Do I only need like, what, 10 or 25, something like that? I feel like I hit everything besides the head. Damn, those things got range. This gun might actually just suck. I'm getting nothing but assists. This is terrible. This thing is not that accurate at range. It don't do a whole lot of damage. 
And having to use tax stance right now ain't helping. I cannot do shit. Besides just farm hit markers. Oh, and I barely even got that kill. Damn, these games are going by fast. We only had 11 kills that whole game. That's terrible. 11 and 25. Yikes, dude. But at least we suffered last game so we can use this. This is beautiful, dude. What a great looking camo. What a great idea for a camo, too. Now we gotta do it justice and actually do well with it. And I love how at the beginning of the video I say, oh yeah, these camos are easy. We should be able to knock them out. And you know, they are objectively easy, but I still somehow struggle with them every time. Like they can lower all the kill counts for all these camos by like 90%. Like we used to have to get like a hundred something kills, you know, all these long shots, mounted kills. The, the camos were way harder and they make them easier for me. And I still somehow struggle. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I got to be able to do something at some point. I think switching up my build a little bit is helping. I made this way more for tax stance and yeah, it's working out. I'll take it. Just need a few more headshots though. That'd be nice. Come on. Don't fight back. Just die. There you go. Our attack stance kills are done. And we're about to be too. Oh, the throwing knife was there. I had it perfectly aimed, ready for him to come through that door. All right, well, our, our build's still made for attack stance, and it seems to be working better for us than it was just normal ADSing, so I'm going to stick with it. Maybe we'll get a few more headshots, because we need, what, eight more? Seven more? But if we can't start getting headshots, then maybe I just need to throw on, like, uh, an optic for this. I think it has its very own optic, like an advanced warfare one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's change up the build. Ooh, that's fancy. Oh, not fancy enough for us to get a kill with it, though. Holy shit, this is bad. Okay, all right, we got... Well, let's just act like that didn't happen. Ooh, and I don't know how much I'm liking the optics so far. I've used it for about, like, 30 seconds, but I am uh, not doing well. well. We'll say that. There we go. All right, never mind. We got one headshot. It's clearly working. There we go, two headshots. Did I just get two headshots there? No, there's only one. Damn. Oh well, we're, we're getting in a groove though. Ooh, come on, just a few more. I like that it shows my mag count on the optic. But I feel like I'm starting to stare at that and not where I'm supposed to be shooting. Actually, never mind. I only I only hit heads anyways. Ooh. Let's get some more. Oh, out of ammo. It says it right there on the optic and I still missed it. I must have got the camo because the game just crashed. Why is this a thing? This is happening in zombies. That's happening in multiplayer now. Oh, awesome. Thought I could avoid it. Yep, there's our headshot camo. Let's uh, hope we don't crash unlocking all the rest of these. Now we need more ADS kills. Awesome. We're gonna be doing nothing but aiming down sights this whole day. At least we get to look at this camo aiming down sights, see it in some finer detail. I'm literally just walking around like this. I'm like a bot. My KD matches it too. At least we're getting some kills this time around. Emphasis on some. I could have just had like three or four right there. Okay. Oh, I hate that I got an ADS up that close. I'm not going to pass up trying to get some camo progress, but it don't make sense to be looking at that guy's follicles right next to him. I can see his eczema. We got to be getting close to getting this gilded challenge done. We have 42 kills. We need 50. Oh, we're only at 38. I almost gotten a few hip fire. That's only 12 more kills and there's still a good amount of time left in this game. We're getting there. Keep it moving. I love that they got a quick fix in this game now because on the rare opportunity that I'm actually starting to streak, it's like popping a stim immediately for you. Oh, come on. I just need three more kills. Three more. And they're at 199. No. Damn it. I want to get the camo done before the game ended. At least we still had like 52 kills. We didn't do bad. I'm just spraying through the door. Someone's going to walk into it. Somebody had the same idea. And they got me. God damn it. One more kill and we got it. There it is. And that's how we know we got it. Why does this keep happening? Why does me unlocking a camo make it crash? Is it because I have it tracked in game? Stupid fucking game, dude. Now we need to get 25 operator full auto clean kills. What does that even mean? Kills not taking damage? Or does full auto clean kills mean I don't miss a single shot? Because that's even harder. I would like if they gave a little more uh, description. Because I feel like it'd be like kills without taking damage if it was full auto clean kills. Did that count? 
No. This is gonna suck, because it already feels like I have to shoot somebody a good amount of times to get the kill with this. Was that full auto clean? I felt like I didn't miss a shot on them. Dude, I don't understand this. I might have to look it up. Or we might just have to play hardcore and I have to like one tap people. Even though it does say full auto, but maybe just my gun needs to be on full auto. Like I probably don't have to shoot like a certain amount of bullets for it. Was that one? Yeah, it might have been. Okay. I, I think it is just not missing a bullet. That sucks because we have to be extremely precise or just come across people that aren't really paying attention to where they're at. We need to have somebody that's like completely AFK. That should be one, right? Yep. All right, let's 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 back out of this and see if one tapping people in hardcore counts. Let's be very careful here. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss a shot there. Yep, that counts. Hardcore is the way to go for this. Ooh. Yeah, we're raking them in now. It's crazy how some challenges are just so simple and just by switching into hardcore. Like this would take me forever to do in core. But now I feel like we're going to clean it. We're already at 12. It took us that whole other last game just to get three. Ooh. Now I remember why I used to strictly play hardcore. It's just so satisfying. It's just whoever gets the first shot. Oh, we must have got it. So there goes the game crashing. What's up, Snoop Dogg? I see you right there. Oh, awesome. Now for Forge, we need to get two kills within 10 seconds of each other 15 times. What if I remove this from tracked and see if that's the issue? Because I've only crashed from unlocking mastery camos that have been tracked. Looks like base camos and even the prestige camo won't crash it. Let's get it done and let's uh, end this without another crash, please. There's a double kill, easy. 14 more of those and we're good. Let's even get this done this game. Might be a little tough because it is only kill confirmed. But if we put our minds to it, I think we can do it. Bars. Actually, I don't think that's bars. I think that's, what, Dora? Maybe the Wonder Pets? At least I'm not seeing people run too many shotguns now. I guess that's the advantage to hardcore, even though you probably die in the same amount of bullets anyways. And surprisingly, I haven't seen that many RGLs unless I'm on shipment. Ooh, a little nasty one through the smoke. I can't handle the pre-fire. Ooh, feed me. Oh, they were. Come on. How many double kills are we at? I wish I could check. But I'm, I'm testing the theory of the tracked camos. We got to have a good amount of them. Come on. We're, we're absolutely slaying right now. We're at 42 kills. I, I'd say we're at like maybe 13 double kills. Ooh, that's gotta be some more. Now that I'm thinking about it, the ultimate camo curse is actually finally unlocking the camo and then it closing your fucking game. That's actually crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that happen in COD. We're just unlocking something will crash the game. I don't know how they, they do it. Cause it's not like we have the excuse of like the older CODs where it's all some spaghetti code of, you know, Modern Warfare 2019 all the way through Cold War and Vanguard mixed together so Warzone can stay compatible. Where like sneezing could crash the game. But this is just ridiculous. And like I've said before, I fuck with Sledgehammer. I like them a lot. I feel like they do a good job on a lot of things, but I don't know what the fuck's happening with this. That's another double. And there's Priceless. Look, we didn't crash. Oh, I wish there was more camos for this to unlock though, because maybe it's the very last camo I don't crash for. But if it is tracking camos then i guess we have to get rid of the the one feature i've been begging for the last few years or just not use it till they fix it because you got them boys tracked it looks like it crashes at least we got all of our double kills in one game we really turned it around no way we had a draw too what are the odds and 63 and 51 i wonder what our kd's at now we're still at a 1.0 we're still positive baby we're about 20 kills positive give or take that's what i'm talking about and let's take one last good look at this starry night camo it's just so good i just love the colors of it love the actual artwork and throwing it on a camo is genius whoever did this deserves a raise or a promotion put them in charge of all camos so overall opinion on this gun honestly in core it did not feel too great like i mentioned while we were playing it felt like it took way too many shots to actually take somebody down you know the fire rate's good on it it looks like a cool weapon i don't think it's the greatest but at, at least we got another weapon towards priceless getting us closer to interstellar i think we now have 
like 30 something weapons or 29 weapons we're we're getting there we're getting there slowly but surely but at least we're still working our way up anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end it there thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later